And hello, and earlier today, something uh, interesting, or I thought interesting, popped up on my uh, YouTube um, feed. Um, and I'll put a link to um, the actual YouTube video that came up uh, below this one. But one of the things it pointed me to was this thing called Decent Sampler, which is um, a plugin player, uh, a free, free, free plugin player. And uh, I looked at it and I thought, oh, well, there's a very simple UI. I wonder if um, that's a candidate for automating. Um, with Python scripting uh, as per my previous videos. Um, so I'll put the link, as I say, uh, below this video. But basically what you have is, um, and I'll get to it in a minute, but you have a, a series of plugins and they have they all have their own UI. So this one, I think it's called Basic Piano, only has two things, tone and reverb. And uh, I, thought, I thought, I wonder if that'll be uh, knob one and knob two. Um, that was my thinking. and. Um, some of the others have, I think, uh, the largest I've found is 12. And the f you'll get the first eight, because you've only got eight knobs. Um, or, and I've only got eight knobs. <laughs> that actually sounds like a lot of knobs, doesn't it? Anyway, um, that's by the by. Um, just before I go, I did notice that there's uh, another web page here. It gives you instructions if you want to create your own samples. Um, so um, yeah, well worth a look. Um, and yes, I'll show you uh, the automation. I might play a few sounds, which I know is going off piste. Um, but uh, let's fire up um, FL Studio again. And let's add it. I think I'll put it under free. Free, so I could find it. There we are, decent sampler. And uh, what you get is a browse here. Um, and there's a sample store when you've installed it. And you can download, you can sort them. Um, and let's go low to high just for our purposes. And a lot of them are free. Um, so free, 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 free. Uh, and then as you get down, you start paying for them. But a lot of the ones that are paid, you'll see Organic Orchestra there, $20. Um, and there's a free version, I think, up here somewhere. There it is, is it? Yes, Organic Orchestra. So um, I like that approach. Um, you can try it out and if you like it, it's not expensive anyway. So. Uh, Anyway, let's crack on. Um, I've done all I've done is I've clicked on a few of these, and let's say I didn't have that one. You click get, and it's going to download it for you. Um, I'll leave that happening in the background. My libraries are here, um, and I've just been playing with this today, so um, I think that's probably the one I've just downloaded. Is it? So let's go into that one. Let's go into Shift and Plugins, which you do first off, and I'm going to get Tone and Reverb. So if I put a bit more reverb on that, we can change the tone. So you can see that's dull or brighter. And let's just click a few of these others. Um, I quite like these ones which are paid but have free versions. So let's pick that one out. Let's load that one. Um, and this has a number of options, um, variations on the samples that they've used. So let's go in on the first one. You can see there's quite a few here. Um, I think I said 12, I think it's more than 12 there. So let's see what we've got. Um, I'll play the sound, which is quite interesting. And then we've got control over the tone, reverb, size, tone again, different type of tone, I guess, or reverb tone perhaps, um, delay, time of delay, and feedback. Which you're obviously going to have, they have quite a, a big impact um, on the sounds. Um, certainly that time one has quite a, a large impact. But very interesting and um, ADSR you just have to change that with the mouse I guess. Uh, the envelope, all the envelopes there. Um, let's press on. Let's go into um, Dave Choir which is a simple um, choir, I guess. This guy sampled his voice, uh, I think 300 odd times or more than 300. And then you've got a, a fairly simple UI. So you can, let's play something. You can go, let's go a bit higher. So you can go from O to R, 
and anywhere in between. You can change the tone. It's quite, it's quite drastic, wasn't it? <laughs> Actually, that's probably you can hear the difference between the O and the R there better. And of course, reverb. Put as much reverb on there as you want. Um, let's go look at another one. Um, let's go into Violations Free Edition. And let's pick out whatever that one was. And you can see this has been developed by the same people, I would guess, or probably the same guy. And there's variations there on the ones that you can control. But what I'd encourage you to do is um, go to the link, download Decent Sampler, have a play. If you've got the FL key, and you probably have if you're watching this video, then uh, it's a good place to start. And um, yeah, it might be nice if we had a dozen buttons on the FL key um, for this particular one. Um, I, I've left the, um, um, the, 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 the I can't talk, can I? The decision of which um, buttons um, are which is completely down to the developers of each sound. Um, and that's because they're different for each one, but they'll all link in. And my hope is that by human nature, um, the most important ones are done first, which means they'll be the ones that you get. Um, but anyway, have a play. So far, so good. Um, I've been having uh, great fun with this for the last uh, half hour to an hour. Great for giving you ideas for things. And... Um, nice to see um, that it uh, works so well with the, the script, which is basically um, the script that comes with the FL key with just um, some little tweaks, which I've been able to do. Anyway, um, that's all I wanted to show you. Hope you enjoy it. Download it, have a play. Um, like this video if you've enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Um, they're going to be about control surfaces or they're going to be about uh, plugins or something similar, something in between. Anyway, thanks very much for your time. Um, let's call it a day there.